Hi, it's Dr. Neil Barnard. As you know, COVID-19 is on everybody's minds and you're already washing your hands, you're maintaining appropriate social distances, and you're wondering, what else could I be doing? Well, let's have a look at nutrition because nutrition can be important for immune defenses. Well, what is the immune system? Well, the immune system is really embodied in the actions of white blood cells. If you put a needle in your arm and you pulled out a blood sample, the red blood cells are there to carry oxygen to your body tissues. The white blood cells are soldiers. They are your, they are your army that will attack viruses and bacteria, cancer cells, other things that don't belong in your blood, they knock them out. But like all soldiers, they don't necessarily get the very best rations. First of all, fatty foods. It's good to eliminate them. Researchers have studied the behavior of white blood cells in the test tube. Normally, they can gobble up a virus and digest it. But if you add a lot of grease to their milieu, they can't grab a hold of those viruses and digest them as effectively. They can't work in an oil slick. So get rid of the fatty foods. What am I talking about? Meat and dairy products are huge sources of fat. You're better off without them. And that goes for fried foods and really oily foods too. Well, are there things that you want to add to your diet? There sure are. Let's start with the antioxidants. Beta carotene, that's the color in a carrot. It's orange, also in sweet potatoes. And beta carotene is an antioxidant that's an immune booster. Vitamin C, you know that vitamin C is in citrus fruits. It's an antioxidant as well. And it works in the watery parts of your blood as opposed to the beta carotene that will attach to the cell surface itself. There's vitamin C in citrus fruits, as I mentioned, but it's in a lot of vegetables as well. Next, vitamin E. Now, vitamin E is an antioxidant. However, vitamin E is a little bit different. It's what we call fat soluble. That means it's in fatty foods like nuts and seeds. But didn't we just say we wanted to limit the amount of fat we're eating? We do. So here's my best rule. An ounce a day is about the amount of nuts or seeds that's healthy. An ounce is the amount of, say, nuts or seeds that if you pour it into your hand, before it touches your fingers, that's an ounce. Just one small palmful. And then don't eat it. Crumble it up and put it on your salad or on your oatmeal or whatever it is. Because if you eat it directly, you know what's going to happen. You're going to fill your hand again. You're going to get too much fat. That's not good. So about an ounce a day, it's the amount that's in the palm of your hand. That's a good amount of vitamin E for you. Next, vitamin D. Now, vitamin D actually comes from the sun. The sunlight on your skin creates all the vitamin D that you need. And if we lived in equatorial Africa, we wouldn't really need to have any vitamin D anywhere else. It's on our skin all the time. But let's say I'm living in New Jersey or North Dakota or somewhere else. Well, you might not be getting enough sunlight to give you the vitamin D you need. What's the answer? The answer now is going to be a supplement. And most doctors would say about 1,000 or 2,000 international units every day. One other thing, get some sleep. Partly, your body needs to recover. And if you're not getting adequate sleep, your immunity is going to flag, as well as other parts of just day-to-day -day living. You're not going to be as effective. Plus, when you're asleep, you can't reach for a bowl of ice cream. So this is a good time to look out for a healthy diet, get plenty of sleep, and don't forget all the basics of good hygiene, good social distancing. Put that together, you've got a good defense. Thanks a lot.